friends, my husband and I are just having breakfast. Um, I'm having a healthy choice in my diet, and he's he's making eggs. He's having his eggs. Um, so when I did my hair, um, I come to realize I need to put conditioner on. It's so dry. So I'm going to put the leave-in. This nice leave-in conditioner that, um, I got as a present for my wonderful daughter. So, um, she's her hard-earned money working bought it for me. That was sweet of her. So I did some walking and my ankle's kind of swollen. And it is last part of the week. You don't know which ankle it is. So don't put your doo-doo on me. Oh, I have my other premiere playing again. It's so nice. I was listening to the bio. Um, frequencies? Oh my god. It was. I felt intense peace. That word intense peace came over me. Oh, it was like a magic moment in time. Like you're giving back your life. You're giving back time. It's phenomenal. <laughs> I think this will help. Put this in. And then let's just do the ends here. Hold on. The ends are a bit dry. And then if I want to put rinse water in it or whatever. But yeah, I did the whole... Thing on camera with the, the little pink blow dryer and, and I combed it and everything. Oh my god, it smells it smells so good. <laughs> White peony ad. Such a nice set. Yeah, I'll leave it in and then if I want to just run water through it whenever I want. It should help the frizziness go away. Yeah, I can't wash my hair every day. It's too dry and I start getting a dentro peel. It just starts peeling my scalp. So, and I've talked to a lot of people, women on YouTube. They, they don't wash their hair every day. Every other day or three days. Three days, they're saying, yeah. That's like if you have really short hair and you're an athlete and you're sweating all the time. Then, yeah, I'm sure every day would be fine. But not if you have really thick, long hair. It actually goes down my back when it's not wavy, when it's straight. All the way down to my uh, low back. Yeah. And it's not spindly or sparse. It's thick. It's a lot of you know, beautiful, fine hair. <laughs> and I worked hard for it. <laughs> you know? Every day I'm grinding, I'm doing hair videos, yep. I'm putting myself out there. <laughs> and I know it helps a lot of people. It's soothing. It's so, it was so soothing listening to my video with that bioeconomic, like, uh, yeah. It was really nice. Oh, all right, correction. Farman brought me a cello and I said, uh, oh, I told him you were making your eggs. We're having breakfast together. He's like, oh, I'm not. I'm having chili the same as you. Okay, so he, I, because I heard him whipping and so I just thought he was whipping eggs. I just assumed because he makes eggs all the time. All right, so look at this beautiful chili he made me for breakfast. Isn't that love? Look at the lime. Some crackers. Yeah, I'm going to have chili. And I have, uh, I also have my little bit of healthy choice meal. That I'll open here. It looks like this. We'll have a little bit of both. Be fun. Here, let me open it. Mm, nice breakfast. Oh, and I have my um, uh, my water.
water pill. I don't care what Captain Crunch says, something like, oh, shouldn't use water pills to lose weight. It's not to lose weight. What the fuck are you talking about? It's for my health. <laughs> He's a nosy busybody, isn't he? Yeah. You know, that was so stupid, all the stuff he put about Mark. I, put, I wasn't ever with Mark. It was a joke. It was a fucking joke. We were having fun with it. And he was laughing. I was trying to bring some cheer. All this whole thing with Seb and Alana, all the stress with MT. We needed some jokes. We needed some laughter. It was funny watching Millie chase after, you know, stalk me. And, and anybody that shows me any affection or loves your video, she accuses me of being in an affair with. We're all so sick of her. And I'm like, to Furman, you know, oh, everything's going good. Everything's going good. Uh, and then I was like, as long as Melody's not bothering me, he's like, oh, your sister, you guys love each other. I know Annie you said that, that uh, I do things for uh, to get Melody's attention. No, I'm not not her boyfriend is a pervert and was watching me for years I didn't know because I'm you know you say I'm gold on it I would never think that Melody's boyfriend would go and look at other people he fooled me he fooled everybody you know he had that fling with ASM with the sunset lady she was nice I like to reduce all her you know he yeah, he's not innocent. And uh, if you say you're on a YouTube break, don't you dare go to your channel and open up YouTube at all. Don't comment, nothing. You're on a YouTube break. Otherwise, don't say you're on a YouTube break if you're not on one. That means not turning on, turn the app off, take it off your device. Good Lord. You know, these, these lies he tells himself. Because he's so damn addicted to YouTube. I'm not. A lot of times I, I, I like Likey. And I enjoy Likey. And I enjoy making, you know, whimsical videos. It's fun. That's more my style. You guys know that. But good Lord. You know. And no, Melody. High Seas is not stalking you. You sound like a fucking idiot. Do you know what stalking is? Does High Seas go to your damn house and circle around? You're like an, a nut job. Get some real help. My God. <laughs> anyway, back to my having my peace again. Yeah. Millie. High seasons and stalking you. You're the problem. You're the fucking obsessed YouTube stalker. Okay. Boyfriend was hitting on me and I firmly said, no, I'm not interested. I'm not interested. You're not my type. I'm asexual. I don't even like men. At all. <laughs> not at all. I love my husband because I'm, asexual people will fall in love with their friends and stuff like that. It's different. Oh my God. Try to, try, stop trying to make me like you. Conform to you. I don't have YouTube affairs and all that shit. That's all in your fucked up head. And I don't know where you made up this thing where I'm so in love with Eddie. He's an ugly, perverted man. He's nasty. And he embarrasses me. He doesn't produce the numbers. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't impress me. He doesn't show me one bit of love, one bit of kindness. He's cruel. You're dating a cruel person that won't marry you, that refuses to marry you. He can send you all the damn rings in the mail, but you ain't married. So two men don't want to marry you. You're like a foolish freak. Yeah, a lot of people call you freak. Just because high seas or somebody else calls you freak doesn't mean I'm them, you stupid moron. If anyone, you've been tormenting me. You've been tormenting me for years. Because you're too, so fucking jealous because you won't brush your hair Take care of your fucking self. We can't get you to clean yourself and take showers and go running. And yeah, I do. I can run 42 seconds strong, very fast. One minute 
and I can jog two minutes. You don't do any of that shit. You do nothing. You sit on your fat ass all day and you lie and judge and you talk to your little fat old girlfriends, go and go eat, go eat again, and you go out and eat. You never had a, you never had any agoraphobia. That's a bullshit lie you tell Eddie because you want to break from him because he's a pest. He's a pain in the ass. He's a, you get tired of him and he's a pain in the ass. Yeah. He is. He's very nosy and cuckoo. Cuckoo, fucker. And no, I've never had any affection or any love for him. I feel zilch. Zilch. Uh, you know, you can't make someone heterosexual. That's not how it works, Melody. You can't make someone have feelings for a man heterosexual. Okay? You can't make them that way. If they're in the LGBT community, which I am, and I've said it for years, you can't make me heterosexual. You can't make me love your man or crush your man. Okay? That's fucking impossible. Plus, he's so cruel and abusive, I would never, ever date someone like that. Even if I was single. Which I'm not. And I've been saying I'm taken. All the fucking men in the world can come on YouTube and flirt and I'll just joke with them or whatever. It ain't going to ever amount to anything. I'm never going to meet any of these fuckers. They're all damn joke to me, okay? It's just a fucking joke. There's so many. Because this world is sick. And they prey on people, good people like me. Because they want my money. That's it. That's what these bastards want. They're money-hungry bastards. So get through your head, Melody. I don't want to be you. I don't want to be a short, fat midget that doesn't wash your hair and comb it on video. Do anything for herself. You don't do nothing for yourself. Give it a fucking rest. And I will eat whatever fucking food I want. I will rejoice in the Lord. I will have quiet times. It's none of your damn business how I run my house. Okay? My God. I had a rent on her. Yeah. She's such a bitch. I really don't understand how Annie could take one minute of this fucking bitch. For 20 years, she's been trying to lose weight. She never does. What, 12 years to lose 80 pounds? You better get off 90 pounds in 90 days or get the fuck out of here. You're not no beach body magnificent coach. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> You're not better than me, that's for sure. No way in hell. No way. I'm consistent. I don't hide my fucking videos and channel. I collect my views, and then when I'm done with collecting them, I put them on private. And I have been for about six months now, at least. Because I'm done with Melody and Boogie. They sickened me. Some things came out that they did. And I don't like that. I was really upset with Boogie when he was acting as if he was MT. Who is my favorite YouTuber of all time? And... You know I'm diehard fan. Okay. Who pretended to be MT trolling me. You know how fucking hurtful that was. You broke my heart. You disgust me so much, Eddie, that you would do that to MT. You're such a hurtful, spiteful bitch. You are. You're a spiteful little bitch. And I would never troll MT. Ever. Nor anybody. I would never troll somebody I care about. You're sick. You guys are heartless, sick people. You're damn trolls on YouTube. And quit lying. Quit lying. <sighs> quit lying and saying I'm, I'm dating a predator. I'm not dating nobody, fuckers. It's all in your goddamn mind. Because you're twisted and you're sick. You're sick. I'm protected and I, I stay home. I usually just stay home. I stay home. I only need 20, 30 minutes of exercise. 
I do my 20, 30 minutes and I'm done. I do whatever I like for the day. I get the 20, 30 minutes over with and then I do whatever I want for the day. <laughs> you know, mostly I'm pampering myself, running this household, taking care of my husband, taking care of my adult kids, making sure Justin's going to school and everything. You know, I have a lot of responsibilities. Making sure all these bills are paid. What fucking responsibility do you have, Melody? What bills do you have to pay? Al supports you. You project all your insecurities onto me. That's Al that supports you. You have a, a fling with, with Eddie, this bimbo, bumbo head, who looks at other women, looks at other uh, men maybe, uh, other things. He looks at stuff. He's a pervert. I don't want to really dive into his his energy he's so dark and disgusting. And that's what you're dating. So you want to project this shit onto me and make me the bad guy. No, you're not. You're not going to do that, Melody. Everyone knows it was a joke. That was a little joke that that Mark and I were, were playing a little joke. And he, you know, he gets mad. You guys know. We all know Mark for years. He has all these women and he goes from one to the other. Oh, come on. Do you really think I, God, I'm just, I can't even talk of how sickening you are to accuse me of all these things that I have not done. But just be polite. Oh, thank you for the song. Oh, that's very nice. Would you like to, he said, I'd like to write you. Okay, thank you very much. You know, do you have Instagram and this and that? I am not going to create an Instagram or anything for any fucking stranger on the inter on the internet. <laughs> Especially a male, which I'm not interested in males. And I can't get it through Melody's mind. You know? <laughs> I can't get it through her head. <sighs> so, you just can't. You can't work with these people. They're... they're only thing they could think about was what's around them because they're hard, highly narcissistic, extreme narcissists, histrionic, you know. They cry about everything. They judge everything. Uh, you know, I was polite just like I would any other man or woman. You know, I don't have this just for, you know, I'm shy. I don't want people reaching out to me. I don't really want, want a lot of friendships. You know, what I have is just precious, what I have. Everything's beautiful and it's perfect. Why ruin it? You know? <laughs> you know, as I say, no, I don't, I'm not going to go and make it Facebook or Instagram or anything for anybody. That's it. I learned that lesson a few years ago. There's no such thing as love on the internet. It's just, basically, it's... Uh, you know, a criminal mind. We all know Mark's a criminal. A criminal mind. And they somehow, maybe, I don't know, thought in his mind he was going to get money out of me. They all do this to me. I, I've, I've had hundreds of scammers approach me. You know, and no, you're not going to get a fucking penny from me because I don't carry money at all. And my husband's not going to give you any money. You know what I mean? And so I just cut it out. In fact, he blocked me. We're not even in communication. Yeah, he blocked me. I told him I'm not dating no pedophile. That's nasty. He blocked me right after that. I have all the records. And a story. God, that was good. You know, it's like you can't joke around. You can't have fun, Melody. Everything is just, you're so guilty what you do. That you have to blame other people. And you blame me for everything. I'm your scapegoat. I don't know how that started. Because I was sweet and made videos for you. Nobody else does. You got Angie over there. It looks like a damn man. Straight up and down. I've never seen a man wasting away. She, I don't know if she's on meth. She's a former drug addict. I, she's so underweight. She looks like a Eugenia Cooney. Not in a good way. I mean, her body's so horribly ugly. 
I throw I throw up looking at her. I can't watch her videos at all. Maybe in some weird way she looks at mine and she gets a little appetite. I, I, th I, I think she starves herself to death. Honestly, I think she pulls your leg and says, oh, I'm eating, I'm stuffed pig. I think she starves.